guys, it's Jenny and welcome back to Solid Gold. In today's video, we're just gonna have a little bit of fun with the fish and I'm gonna do something fun with the goldfish that I haven't done in five years. This will be really fun to do, so I'm excited. This is fun for us, but it's also all about providing enrichment for the goldfish. If you're not familiar with the idea of enrichment for captive animals, it's a really, really common idea. You basically are doing that when you give your cat or dog a toy, you're providing enrichment for them, something to help improve their life. And a lot of toys are even geared towards mimicking natural behaviors that animals would have. So they have an outlet to kind of perform those natural behaviors. Goldfish at the end of the day are carp. Now they're really highly modified carp that really couldn't survive in the wild anymore at this point. So they're domesticated animals at this point but they're still carp at the end of the day and they still have some innate instincts in them that carp have that it can be really enriching to their lives to be able to act these instincts out, even in your home aquarium. Now my favorite thing and probably the easiest thing that I think you can do to help provide enrichment for your goldfish is just to provide a thin layer of sand substrate, which is what I have done in all of my goldfish tanks and they love me for it. They spend so much of their time just sifting through the sand looking for little bits and pieces of food. And this is a really, really common and natural behavior for carp in the wild. Carp are foragers. They spend their entire day pretty much just searching for food and only finding little tiny bits of it at a time. A common question I get is, isn't it bad for them to eat all that sand when you're feeding them the sinking pellets? The answer is no, it's actually not. If you watch really closely, they're actually sifting out inside of their mouth. So they take a big gulp of like sand and food and then within their mouth, they're sifting out the sand from the food. They keep the food in their mouth and they swallow it and then they spit the sand back out. It all happens really, really fast, but that's what they're doing when they're sifting through the sand for food. And on the off chance that they do actually eat some of the sand, it's not bad for them at all because it actually helps act as roughage material and it helps keep their digestive system moving, everything moving through them smoothly and seamlessly so they never get backed up. Goldfish actually are pretty prone to constipation because of their modified body shapes, so this can actually be really beneficial to them. So sand in goldfish tanks is a win-win in my book, as long as it's a really thin layer and you are stirring it up regularly enough to break up any anaerobic pockets of gases that might start to form since it is so compacted. Now you'll notice that Pretty much all enrichment opportunities for goldfish revolve around food because let's be honest, all goldfish really care about is food. But this other one is really fun because it simulates algae growing on a rock. Now in the wild, carp fish like to peck algae off of surfaces underwater. And one of the staple foods that I feed to my goldfish every day is the Dandy Aranda's Super Gold Rapashi Gel Food. This is a gel food, so you mix the powder with the water and then you let it set usually in a flat tray. And then once it cools, you cut it into little cubes and feed it to the fish. But several years ago, I got to thinking, what if I pour this over a surface while it's still hot and let it cool on the surface and then let the fish peck the food off of that surface like they're actually eating algae off of a rock. So that's what I did. And that's what we're gonna do today in this video. So over here, I've got my gel food and I have the rock that I'm going to set this gel food up on. This rock is gonna work really well because it has a really rough surface. If you used one with a smooth surface, it wouldn't work quite as well because the gel food wouldn't stick to it well enough and it would kind of just flake off in big, in big sheets once you put it underwater. But this one is gonna stick that gel food to it really well. Meanwhile, Neptune's just over here like, hey, what does a betta fish have to do around here to get some attention? All right, so let's make this gel food. So I'm not gonna make nearly as much of this as I would be making if I was, you know, making up a batch of gel food just to cut into cubes and keep in the fridge because I'm just pouring it over this rock. So this is gonna be like a one maybe two feedings kind of thing so i don't want to make too much but it's just one part powder to three parts water and then you put it in the microwave for a minute or two until it starts boiling and then take it out and let it set i could have put a little more water in this but that's all right it'll still work just gonna slather it all over this rock all right I think we got it. Here's the rock with our gel food, AKA algae smeared all over it. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge 
so that cools and hardens and then we can feed it to the fish. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my God, you don't even know what's about to happen. This gel food has been in the fridge for about 40 minutes now, so let's see if it's set up enough. Oh yeah, perfect. Here it comes. None of these fish have ever experienced anything like this before, so it might take them a little bit to catch on. I guess we'll see. They're all just like, well, we can smell food, but we don't know where it is. They're so cute, oh my god. I can't stop watching them. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed getting to watch my goldfish eating my algae simulation. And I hope you try it out for your own goldfish at home as well. It really is super fun to be able to do this for them and just to be able to watch them. But before we go, I wanna give you guys a quick update on my sick fish that I had in quarantine that I showed you guys in last week's video. I wanna give you guys a happy update about this situation. Here he is down here and look at that. All of his red irritated spots are completely gone. So he still has a little bit of kind of an old pimple looking thing behind his eye where that big red sore was and there was all kinds of pus coming out of it and it was bright red like an active infection. But it's officially been a week of treatment with oxolium now and he is completely clear of any infection. There's no more redness. There's no more pus coming out of places. And the three areas that he had little infections going on all look completely cleared of infection and like they're actually healing really well. So I'm so excited. Also the results from the poll came in where I asked you guys if I should name him either Miko or Percy and around 60% of you guys voted for Miko. So his name is going to be Miko but if you liked Percy don't worry I'll probably save that for a future fish name some other time. But this little guy is Nico and he's doing so much better. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I was so worried. All right. Excuse me guys Excuse. Oh, sorry. Excuse me Nalu. I'm gonna take this out now because They've already eaten a little over half of it or maybe half of it something like that And that is enough food for one feeding So I'm just gonna take this out and put it in the fridge and that way I'll be able to save it for another feeding either later today or maybe tomorrow even. Well, thanks for watching guys. That's it for today's video. It really won't be too much longer now until I can add my five new Dandy Randis goldfish into the goldfish aquariums here. I have the lights off on the three ones that aren't currently in use just to save on electricity. 
but pretty soon all four of these are gonna be lit up with goldfish in them, so that's really exciting. And yes, I will be splitting up the Nalu Marshmallow Denzel little gang there, but it's okay, they'll make new friends, I promise. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and until then, stay gold. <laughs>